Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 19 on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you up to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A few moments ago, the Steeler offensive starters, including all pro wideout Antonio Brown, were introduced. And they've got this crowd in a frenzy as they get set to square off with the Kansas City Chiefs. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And with towels waving, we're underway from Heinz Field. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. They're led onto the field by a man who needs no introduction, Ben Roethlisberger. And when you just sit and look at the raw numbers, you actually kick back and nod in appreciation about the career Ben Roethlisberger has had. Went over 50,000 passing yards last year, eighth all time. But what he wants more than anything, one more run at the Super Bowl where he's won twice previously. going to be in. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. And let's take a look at the Steeler offense. Out wide was the youngest player in the NFL in 2017, Juju Smith-Schuster. And he also had the longest reception in the league last season at 97 yards. Actually well-schooled in route running and able to run from both outside and moving inside to the slot position in order to make big plays. On second down, Roethlisberger. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. And they'll get ten there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Then we got to give a little tip of the cap for the defense there. Zone coverage, locked it in tight, made it really difficult because they tried the crossing route against it, and it worked for a completion. But you have to know where the sticks are on third down. Didn't get beyond them. No pickup. And this will be taken at the 13. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. Bringing them out is the second-year man, Patrick Mahomes, taking over for Alex Smith here in 2018 as the KC starter. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see how they bring him along. You know, a lot of people say, well, do you have some training wheels on a young quarterback? But Patrick Mahomes is at his best when he's a little bit more of a freewheeling guy who can use his big arm to get the ball downfield. I suspect the Chiefs are going to lean towards letting him go. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. 
Now Mahomes. Blitz coming and down he goes. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way right behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here we go now. Blue 45. Up. Here's Hunt, and he's got room. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. They're back now to the original line of scrimmage thanks to that eight-yard gain. Third down now to follow. That was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. <laughs> Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, Dustin Colquitt to punt for KC. Back deep for the Steelers, Antonio Brown. It's taken to the 26. A good return there, call it 13 yards. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I can't help it. Every time I see Eric Berry make a play, as we just saw him make a tackle there, I just want to stand up and applaud. Because he went to Tennessee like you? Well, that, that doesn't hurt one <laughs> bit, but how about the comeback? I mean, he came yeah. back from, from beating cancer and getting back to Pro Bowl level. One of the best players in the game. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Got him in. It's Brown. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> well, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 they'll run it now out of the gun and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield I know when I was a kid I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up.
Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. Chris Jones in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Here's Jordan Berry now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. Fielded just inside the 20. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. going to hand it off to Hunt. And oh, he spins past him and into space. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. To him on first down. And he's brought down. It'll go as a gain of 10 to Kansas City first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said right down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. second and one. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. yards there at a Kansas City first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. A first trip to the red zone for KC. It's first and 10 at the 14. Play goes nowhere. 
Losing yardage back to the 15. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Second down, here's Mahomes. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And quickly now, a look at the Kansas City offense. A dynamic runner out of the backfield is Kareem Hunt, who led the NFL in rushing as a rookie last year with over 1,300 yards, added nearly 500 yards in receptions. But the thing I like most about him, big playability. 16 plays of 20-plus yards as a rookie. Not bad for a third rounder out of Toledo. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are going to take a first-quarter lead. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was finished by the touchdown run from the 15. Butker now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out come the Steelers. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Man up the left side is Brown. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. on first down. And he's taken down. A Chiefs set. Chris Jones in there to get him 
his second sack now of the afternoon. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force an incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Roethlisberger. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. Well, Gordon, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. Set, blue 30. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Two yards gets them back to where they started, but now third and ten. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On third down, Roethlisberger. He's going deep for Brown. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Orlando Scandrick. You look him there at a defensive back who's maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's brought down after a good game. Give him 30 yards there. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Let me 
Well, we will not get another play as time will run out on this first quarter. It's the Chiefs on top early. More from the Steel City coming up after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. Field. Here's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. is Hunt. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Steelers insert their nickel defense on third down. Yeah, they add a DB. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. here on first down looking right side and that's complete to Watkins and he is out of bounds inside the 30 the completion good for three and it's second down that time they hit him out of the slot on the drag and that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patches I like to call <laughs> it right he's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it really well done Play fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. to the 10 yard line five yards on the catch there brings up second down he decided to run a hitch route it really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose and boy he rifled one in there on that one not much run after catch but it worked really well second and five after the five yard completion on first down Here we go now. Mahomes the throw once more and he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. 
Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. That ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Green, green, 90. Now it's Mahomes again. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill from 10 yards out. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Butker on for the PAT. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. That time, a nine-play drive, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. now to kick this one away. Smith-Schuster now to return. We focus our attention now on the cornerback, Ben Roethlisberger. And this defense, they came prepared. He's probably going to be seeing them in his sleep if they don't fix things quickly. And that's not exactly what he wants to see in his post-game slumber. So they've got to figure out a way to slow things down a little bit. Some screen passes, some draws, anything to make the defensive front hesitate a little bit. Think on their way back to the quarterback, maybe even a quarterback draw, some type of tendency breaker to change things up. Exactly. Whatever the case, something to mix it up here. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 22. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Open man is Switzer complete. And down he'll go at the 25. The completion good for three and it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Set! Like 20. Now Roethlisberger. Oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And the Steelers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And he finds McDowell. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, 
That ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. And they'll go with the ground attack here. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Roethlisberger. And down he goes. All day, baby. All day. We come all day. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to air one out. But it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a yard in the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. That was a particularly nice play because not only was it his job to force the play inside, he was actually able to fold inside himself and make the tackle ultimately. Very nicely done. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time it's third now. and three. three now Mahomes on the bootleg. Mahomes, but he lost the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was, because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. Standing right on his own five-yard line.
The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Connor. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. second and long after the hold. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 13 on the play. And just like that, it's third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? throw the football. You got to pass in order to try to pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys work against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up the third down. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Now Roethlisberger on first down. That is incomplete. On the incompletion, uh, I turn to you as we continue to do all these week one predictions, and I ask rookie of the year, could this be a battle? for Gotham between Darnold and Barkley. I like it. I like that a lot. A quarterback, Sam Darnold with the Jets, a runner, uh, Saquon Barkley with the New York Giants. But I'm thinking defense. I'm going out west to the Denver Broncos. Bradley Chubb, uh -huh. defensive end, outside linebacker. Remember, Von Miller's on the other side. He'll take up a lot of attention. Let's give Chubb more one-on-one -on -one opportunities to get quarterbacks on the ground. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And the Steelers on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. Now it's Roethlisberger. And incomplete. The contact made the ball run free and brings up fourth down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Here's Jordan Berry now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. 
His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 21. Here we go now. Blue 45. On the run, this is Hunt. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. second to get your MVP predictions going into week one of this season. Do you have Rodgers, Brady, Wentz, Breezer? Is it somebody kind of off the radar a little bit? Yeah, maybe a Russell Wilson because the offense runs through him now in Seattle and quarterbacks always get the first look. But I'm going with the running back, Todd Gurley, uh -huh. Los Angeles Rams. I think he's a threat for 1,000 yards on the ground and 1,000 yards through the air. He's that type of a player. So you're going Gurley. What about Deshaun Watson? Any shot there? Certainly. Look at the numbers last year. When he played, they averaged over 30 points per game when he was a starter. When he didn't play, those numbers fell off in a big way. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give him another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Here we go now. Green, 90. <laughs> Throwing his Mahomes on third. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They convert on third with a gain of 22. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. intended receiver and that'll bring up second down I hope I don't sound too rah rah on that one but that's the exact right throw either your receiver gets it or no one gets it give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it got rid of it no one got it so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down Mahomes. 
He's got the hook up with Conley. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. The Chiefs on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and 14. Here we go now. Three, three, and up. Up. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Caught here by Conley. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Now the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. to about the 24-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. This fielded at the two. <laughs> and a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. 
Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. Now we go. <laughs> They'll run it now. Out of gun. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to clear up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Chiefs on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and 15. Here we go now. Ah! Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he'll win it over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice play for Kansas City picking up the first 18 yards that time. the 45 before he's brought down. Holding offense. So a decent game. Still first for down. not on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Hey, green 90, green 90. Hey. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And now it's second down. Well, partner, the last couple weeks I've been asking you about the favorites in each division. We talked about Super Bowl predictions and all that, but... What about a team from each side that might surprise us a little bit this year? Well, the one I'm going to start with in the AFC shouldn't be a surprise when you look at who they have returning from injury, and that's the Houston Texans. They were running the AFC South for a while, but everyone was healthy, and J.J. Watt was getting to the quarterback. Now Deshaun Watson returns, and they're an entirely different team with him at quarterback. On the NFC side, I know a lot of people are looking at the Bears, and rightly so. I love them as a trendy pick. But I'm going to take one where people are saying maybe they're a five-win team. I don't believe that for a second. The Seattle Seahawks. I think they will surprise people and contend in the NFC West. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And he's going to be out of bounds up around the 45-yard line. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Well, that's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. 
And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. We just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Hey, 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 Sam! 180! They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Chris Jones on the stop. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window, and they've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. On third down, Roethlisberger. And get this one to Switzer. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Roethlisberger looking for his running back and he's got it and now look at this big game but a fumble and it's picked up by the Chiefs and his crew will take over with a football at the 35 yard line the psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time right and how much they practice not fumbling practice it preach it talk about it all the time you would think no one would ever turn it over yet they are humans out there running around and we just saw another one opportunistic by the defense patrick mahomes on his way out for their next drive he's been pretty solid pretty consistent just the one touchdown pass but i think he's managed the game well no i would agree with you and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. Mm -hmm. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Here we go. Blue 45. Are you touched? Blue 45. <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. You, 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 and he'll be taken you. down at the 34. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. throwing on second down firing quickly here and that's complete and he's able to get it down to the 25 yard line and they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down The offense on third down tonight, they've had good success five for eight to this point they're looking at third in the nose of the football Mahomes and it's complete to Kelsey and he's gonna have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line 
Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Mahomes now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Green, green, 90. <laughs> now it's Hunt. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, a one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. careful not to go to the well too often but it's a fine line isn't it because sometimes if you've got success you want to just keep pounding away but no success there they rallied quickly on the defensive end back to back running plays putting them in negative territory what can they do coming up on third and 15 Working from the gun, Mahomes. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 12 yards is the pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. And Butker able to put this one through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest. Let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Hey, 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 set! Blue 30! 30. 30, 30. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor, and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found.
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. The Steelers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. He gets it to Brown. Good play. Yeah, they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. Roethlisberger now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. Now it's Connor. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Finding room inside the 40. There he goes, left side. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Jalen Samuels, 53 yards. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Well on now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. Well, Holmes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Stephon Tua came out of Notre Dame as another one of those really tall defensive ends and you just wonder, would they be able to have the leverage to bend and make plays? I think he just gave us an answer with that tackle. Hunt 
Gets it on the draw from Mahomes. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Here we go. Blue 45. Cut. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But the last one, man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Now Browns. It's a 47-yard punt but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball to cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor. Now they gotta keep things cranking, keep it on high so they can keep cutting into that lead. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. Roethlisberger will throw. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Well, with that incompletion, gives us a chance to get Charles Super Bowl picks. We've done this the last couple years going into week one. Who do you have this season? No, it wouldn't surprise anyone at all for Philadelphia and New England to do it again, this time in Atlanta. But I think it's going to be a couple of different teams out of both divisions, go, go, go. All right, both conferences, I should say. I think coming out of the NFC, I really like Atlanta. Wow. I think they're going to get back to the Super Bowl again. Hey, at the AFC... Sorry. I think it's going to be Pittsburgh. And ultimately, I'm taking Atlanta to hoist the trophy. And you know where the Super Bowl is this year. It is in Atlanta. The first time ever we're going to have a home team win in their home stadium. You heard it here first. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. The Steelers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and nine. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, there was no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And out come the Chiefs now. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. Throwing now is 
Mahomes. And he will find his man on the outside. And down he'll go at the 25. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Green, 90. Green, they run 90. with Hunt. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. Here it's third and two. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Stephon to it, the one that got him down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game, and he's got a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half not bad first and ten Ready. Three, 39. <laughs> now Mahomes his throw incomplete he was looking again for Kelsey there on that play and that'll bring up second down well they're slinging it and then there's one you got to put a timer on huh I mean that one came in hot that came in hot but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete an incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Mahomes giving to Ware on the draw. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. There we go now. Blue 45. <laughs> Here's Mahomes to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks. They'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite throw jersey. And the Steelers set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. 
You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 11. Now it's Roethlisberger. Open man is Switzer complete. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Set! From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. So that one a hold still right second guard. Down. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. D4. In there to sack him for a loss of six. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. They put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Here's Connor. And an alley to run. And able to get a little more breathing room out to the five-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they have to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. Here's Jordan Berry now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now here comes Kansas City. They were forced to punt last time. Now I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. 
But it was stopped on that play. We saw plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then, the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. Here we go. Green, 90. Cut. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is caught by Watkins. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. This is Hunt. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. Mahomes to throw on second down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. side was it offensive line especially in the middle looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started so now we bring up fourth and inches this would be a critical call so on fourth down out trots the kicker in a big spot here he connected on his first this time it's 39 yards away and the kick by butker is good and that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. to the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 27. To throw here, Roethlisberger. And McDonald here over the middle. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. At this
this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Roethlisberger now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now Roethlisberger over the middle, held in by Smith Schuster. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Orlando Skandrick the one that time to knock it away. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Set, like 20. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none. Yes, exactly right. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Three, three, They'll run it now. Out of the goal. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he stopped immediately there. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. As he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Third down, it's Hunt, and they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. And play is stopped here, timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. The Steelers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on fourth, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but up. But he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. <laughs> now we'll see what his offense can do. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Second and ten. It's Roethlisberger once more. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Out of the gun. It's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur so they can't let that dream go just yet they have to get stout on defense here yeah right now really hoping for a turnover so this one fairly well in the bag as they take over with a first and goal Vic 
victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Heinz Field.